guys, welcome back. I may have made an enemy. I'd made an enemy. Of Doc himself, which is kind of inconvenient. That could have been good. Oh my gosh. Freaking head hurts. Timey, why me back and forth. Not working the way I wanted to work and not going so well. You're going with. Freaking getting tired of cleaning up Doc's messes. Made. I'm the freaking time maid. That's what it should be. It should be back to the future. It should be back to the time maid. Oh, well, he's taking a nap. He slept in those clothes, really? <gasps> <sighs> Hello? Marty! You're awake! Good! Uh, uh, Emmett, uh, where are you? I'm down at the expo. I snuck out early to avoid my pop. If he knew I was about to make a publicly scientific spectacle of myself, Here we go. the roof. Well, stay put. I'm on my way. Great! But first, I need you to perform an important mission. On the table next to my law books, there's a device plugged into the wall. I, uh... I think I see it. Is it glowing? Yeah. Yes. Is it is good? glowing. Good. It's fantastic. Okay, good. Oh, my static accumulator is charged up and ready for action. Bring it down to the high school and we'll. Damn. What? It's Edna. But. Oh, Hello. Hello. A static accumulator coming up. Anybody there? This is not going to be well. This is going to be going so poorly. Oh, I don't want to have to do this again. I have to fix his time messes once again. That's not going to be nice. Uh-oh. Jeez, Doc. Watch out. You almost ran me over. Sorry about that, Martin. This vehicle is sometimes difficult to control. Uh, yeah. Hey, are you okay? After that argument about Emmett last night... I'm fine. Thank you for asking. Seriously, let me cut this section. I don't know where this one tough is. Let's shove it underneath. There we go. I'll get much better. I got a bad feeling about him. So, how are the time circuits? Are they all fixed? Oh, okay. I've got a few ideas, but I'm occupied with other problems today. What so is other that problems? What I'm destined to build for the expo? Yeah, it's a static accumulator. Emmett spent all night building it. Turned out he didn't really need to see Frankenstein after all. He just needed a little push. And, push! And some lightning. Fascinating. I also had an epiphany last night. Doc? I realized that it wasn't Edna that made my life miserable. Doc! It was science. No, 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 no. You can't give up science. You love science. It's everything to Correct. you. My younger self loves science. But if Emmett doesn't go through with a demonstration at the expo, his dreams of being a scientist will give just enough for Emmett to step back into his life and steer him down another path. Yes, to empireness. Another path. Another path? What other path? I don't know. Architecture, automobile repair, taxidermy. Maybe I'll even pursue a life in law like my father always wanted. No! It's a bad and idea! Steers clear of science, Edna and I will be free to be happy together. Bird! 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 You can't want Emmett back with Edna. She used you to turn Hill Valley into a police state. She used my science to turn Hill Valley into a police state. But if I don't become a scientist, Try to wipe your mind! ...to vent her crazier ambitions. Doc, I'm begging you. You haven't thought She's this through. crazy! Haven't I? I guess we'll both find out. One thing's for sure. Emmett Brown's life will be a whole lot less complicated without a time machine in it. No! Ow. Oh, what the hell? On. Where'd it go? Um... Rabbit, where to go? 
There it is. Okay, I grabbed it without realizing. Oh, come on! Does it have a sentiency yeah, of its own? Thingy. Or is it my clothes that's repelling the static cling of it? Gosh, it's flying on its own. This is kind of interesting. I'm back here. I can't reach it. Light pole. Thank you. God, grab, 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 grab. Whoa, Nelly! Ow! That hurt. I felt like a painful thing. Can I just have friends and not have to fix timeline? Is she back on her job again? She looks like she might be back on her job, or is that a different person? The future is coming nope. today. It's still her. There's a shiny new tomorrow on the way. A day of invention is at hand. It's a mystic future, uh -huh. mystic wonderland. Just around the bend, my friend, you'll see a dream or two. If you care to dream and dare to dream, your dreams can all come true. Same about Not Jazz, bad, that's eh? pretty cool. Not bad at all, but I thought you fired her. I found a loophole. What kind of loophole? Just a loophole. You're not the only one who's allowed to have secrets, you know. All right, all right. I'll give it to him, I'll give Say, it to him. Hey, don't you have to get that whatchamacallit to Emmett Brown's booth? Huh? Oh, uh, yeah, right. Because the future is coming. It's almost here now. He said she's probably the best singer in the town anyway. I gotta find Emmett. Enlightenment awaits you under the sea. And here he comes, right on cue. No uh -oh. doubt he'll try to talk you out of it, Detective, but you mustn't let your resolution waver. Hello, Callahan. Uh, what are you doing? What's going on here? Well, uh, Miss Strickland here seems to think, uh... You should step aside and let the officer do his duty, now. What duty? That's what I'm asking, what duty? What's your jurisdiction? Wait a minute, that's Emmett's levitator up there. Oh, don't be so modest. I'd say you deserve at least half the credit. It was you who tricked poor Emmett into breaking up with me. It was you, you, you who manipulated him into dropping my project in favor of this clear hazard to public safety. It was my plan to get him back to inventing what he should be inventing. What's your point? Oh, I think you know exactly what my point is. I told you. Emmett's invention just isn't going to work, is it? Would have fixed At everything. Least not the way poor Emmett thinks it is. Probably would have broken something know? else. I had a very interesting chat with Carl Sagan last night. I found out who Harry Callahan really is, and where he comes from. Is there something you want to tell me, Harry? Why don't you call him by his real name? Yakov Shmirnov. What? Thanks a lot, Doc. An anarchist. A foreign agitator bent on sowing chaos and destruction. Oh, I guess in the he didn't destroy that Expo. time. Annie, you don't believe any of this bullshit, do you? Sorry, uh, Yakov, but I really don't have a choice. Very good. And now, arrest this subversive. Come here. I helped you arrest Kid Tanner. Look, here's the thing. I happen to believe this dame's got a screw loose. <laughs> She's been getting a clown in town. Ever since that business with Kid Tannen. But Emmett's gotta fly that electrokinetic levitator at this demo. His whole future depends on it. And my future depends on making sure he doesn't. The chief reads her column religiously. Well, if I don't do what she says, she's gonna start a campaign to have certain Now if I prove that she was from the force. Isn't there Darson. anything I can do? Not unless you've got some dirt on Edna. Something that'll discredit her in the eyes of the law. She's well, the arson. I gotta prove I'll that she's the arson. Up. You do that. In the meantime, you and young Mr. Brown better... Uh, where is he, anyway? Wait, you haven't seen him? 
Emmett? Has this foreign radical done something to my Emmett? Maybe you should find him. Maybe I should. Oh, you're letting him go? This radical subversive? Just like that? Yes, I'm a okay. radical subversive. So, I guess I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. And do something about Edna. <sighs> Freaking. Phone booth. Welcome to the phone booth of the future, made with Atlas Glass. Atlas, unbreakable and soundproof. Our phone is hands-free, so you can enjoy a sandwich or a cigarette while chatting with friends in perfect privacy. Would you like to place a call? It's yes, Windows I'd like still to talk see through. Unfortunately, this phone booth only accepts incoming calls. Hmm. I'll remember that. Hi, Trixie. That's Techni to you, kiddo. Techni. Right. Uh, congratulations on getting the old job back. Thanks. Justice triumphs in the end, you know? Now, what can I do you for? Or boyfriends do. I don't know which. Where's Emmett? You seen Emmett around? Where's I'm Emmett? I'm worried that he's not Where's at Emmett? his booth. Where's Emmett? Where's Emmett? Hmm, let me think. Uh, yeah. He wandered down that way a little while ago. He was talking real intense with another guy. Older uh -oh. guy? Looked a lot like Emmett in the face? Yeah. <sighs> or something? Or something. Just get both of them. Just get rid of... I mean, you don't need the older doc. You can just get rid of them and then time machine it out. <sighs> so, which exhibits do you recommend? The most popular attractions are the glass house, the future furnishings, and of course, enlightenment under the sea. You know who Which that is? Which actually happened. Helmet? That's Jacques Duteau himself. Of course, you need to get tickets if you want to see the main attractions. How much are tickets? Aw, oh, put your money away. Here, we're kind of like family now, you know? Thanks. I wonder why. Because I am family! Okay. I gotta go. Thanks. Happy to help. Um. Act casual. He's coming back. Danny, can I talk to Edna for a minute? Be my guest. I'd like a couple minutes of quiet. <laughs> What's this about? You broke up Why with him. Why are you still involved in Emmett's life? I thought you broke up with him. I did, but then your friend, Mr. Sagan, told me about your scheme to interfere with our romance. Not a very nice thing to do, Comrade Shmirnoff. I'm not a comrade, Zmirnoff! It is not Russian! I don't even look Russian. Did you see? Trixie Trotter got her old job back. Oh, I know! I tried to have it out with Arthur McFly, but he refuses to explain himself. Apparently, he discovered some sort of loophole that allows that Canadian to retain her position. Well, the Ladies' Decency Society shall hear about this. Make no mistake. Why is Parker so willing to do your bidding? <laughs> well, the good detective knows that he owes his current rise through the ranks to my reporting on his behalf. Oh. He also knows that I could just as easily pen an expose about his previous nights of drunken debauchery and evidence tampering. You're blackmailing him? Reporters yep, don't much. blackmail, Mr. Schmirnoff. We look out for the public interest. I know your deep, dark secret. Secret? What secret? You're the arsonist! It's very simple. You know, what you were whispering about with Carl Sagan yesterday. You overheard? Sure, I She's did. She's the arsonist. You did a really lousy job That's at, obvious. Uh, burying the body. Oh, you didn't hear a thing. What I was talking about with Carl Sagan is between me and Carl Sagan. <sighs> Where's Carl you Sagan? Is Mr. Sagan around here anywhere? No, and I wouldn't tell you if I had. He's more than a little scared of your anarchistic tendencies. Yeah, well. Okay, this be a little is more scared of my anarchistic tendencies. Stay away from the new anarchist hooligan. Set the time right. 
Anyway, so I meant it would be a race, so it wouldn't matter. Just gotta go do something. Enlightenment awaits you. Excuse me, Mr. Duto, Jacques Duto, at your service. Did I get a ride in that bathosphere? If you've got a ticket. I got a ticket. My ticket. Give me a ride in that thing. Thank you, Monsieur. I thought you gave me some money. I'm not going in here for any reason other than the fact that I'm kind of interested in it myself. Got no clue if this is actually going to mean anything. Nope. That's yes. it? You just dump in and dip hey. out? Monsieur has a way with work. Eh. Can I leave? Don't seem to be able to leave. It tastes like chicken. We don't have any house of glasses. Any house of glass. No one in here. What am I supposed to do? Welcome to the world of tomorrow, where a man's home is truly his castle. Here, gratification is just always a push of a button away. Red button. Nothing ever bad ever happens with a press of the red button. Fresh fruit baskets will be replenished daily by fleets of fruit bearing helicopters. Fleets of fruit bearing helicopters. Ah, oh, it's wax. Well, yeah, you're not going to actually eat that stuff. In the house of the future, phone conversations will be completed. In the privacy of the personal phone helmet. Hey! Please recite the phone number you wish to dial, or say hang up to terminate your phone helmet experience. Klondike 4385. Brown residence. Hey, Hampton. How's it hanging? This is Marty, Emmett's friend. Is he there? Not at the moment. That's pretty I'm cool. He's off on one of his little adventures. Though I prefer cell phones. Thanks. Bye. It's much more. Oh, well. Conversation terminated. Plus the brew button. In the mood for fun, the house of the future comes equipped with a modern home entertainment center. Chinese checkers and everything. <laughs> okay. Okay, what, what the, I'll take the hit. Okay. Huh. Okay. Well, I guess I'm just going. I think that's supposed to be a clock. I'm just, I'm just a tourist. I'm actually just a tourist, which is kind of weird. I don't think I've been a tourist before. Enlightenment awaits you under the sea. How about an algae you. king? Sure thing, Mister. Wait a minute. You're the guy that makes the algae cakes? What? I thought you couldn't stand them. Hey, you're the guy that tried to pick up on my Eunice. Oh, oh yeah, him. her. No, I'll be him. For you, Buster. Him. Oh, crap. I didn't try to pick up on her. I just didn't want to miss. Well, I mean, seriously, he's the one picked on me, not me picked on her. I mean, seriously. What am I supposed to do? Come on, Emmett, where are you? 
Find Emmett. I think well, Deep Sea Diver could be Emmett in disguise. You know, I don't know. Mr. Duto? Duto! Mm -hmm. You seen Emmett Brown? I'm looking for a friend of mine, Emmett Brown. Tall young guy, reddish brown hair. A uh, distracted look. That's him. Any idea where he went? He just passed by here with an older gentleman. I think they were headed into the House of Glass. Great. The House thanks. of Glass. House of Glass. I was just there. Didn't see anyone. But I'll go anyway. Hey, Emmett, come out of there. Don't listen to him. Uh, get rid of the old guy. That's the only option. Perfect. Oh, crap. Crud sickles. Crud sickles. It's just not going to work for him, is it? Yeah. Yeah, we not going to work. Yeah. House of Glass. The future of domestic life. Okay, no, it's not. let's get you out of here. Emmett! Emmett, don't listen to him! He, he's crazy! I'm still not sure about this business proposal, Mr. Sagan. Let me explain it again. Atlas glass. Unbreakable and soundproof. Soundproof glass. Fantastic. Great. Our living space can be configured to meet the needs of any family. Need a private study? Simply slide the walls in. Or slide them out again to create a spacious banquet hall. Greetings again, mortals! This is Techni, Muse of Progress. Hoping you're all having a swell time taking in all the exhibits. Don't forget, you can purchase tickets to our main attractions right here at the information booth. Information booth. <laughs> running out of time! Running out of time, running out of time, running out of time. Open. <sighs> I can't seem to get anything to go right for me. Open that handle, then. Then this one? And then I'm stuck. Fantastic. Let's go down... Maybe I can open up that handle. I don't know. There's only so many handles. There we go. I guess something was blocking it. Can I open up this one next? Yes! Fantastic. This is going so well. Open up this one. It shut this one. Oh, this is a freaking jigsaw puzzle. Uh oh. Was that a bad sound? This is the only handle I see here. So this might be the one I need, I hope. Well, okay, we slid it that way. I would... I thought... Okay, fine. I thought it went the other way. Everything else went the other way. What? What? what okay. I guess I'd go through this one. I don't know. I am improvising! Which is something I do a lot. Ah! I can't slide it. Why can't I slide it? This is an annoying puzzle. What do I need to click? I don't know. I don't, I've only got one thing to click. Okay, maybe I need to slide this one now. There's only so many of these handles. Okay. And then slide this one. That's what need to slide this one? No? Okay. Fine. Something's blocking it. I don't know what is blocking it. Do I need to go back up top? Is that it? Oh, they're going to be so much done with their communications by the time I get two of them. It's got blocked again. It won't slide open. It's a green door. It's a green thingy that blocks it. Does this need to be shut? I don't know. Top. 
up here. Maybe it's up top. Maybe. It, oh, I think I don't. I need to shut this one. Oh my gosh! It's a pain in the butt. Great. It's such a pain in the butt. It's just irritating. Can't seem to get the go open this one. Now this one opens. Please, yay. Okay, good. <gasps> Wait, I'm supposed to be seen by them. That's a good thing. No, 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 no. That's called chloroform. That's called chloroform. Don't do. Oh, you're out. Oh crap, man! Ah, cannot get ahead of myself. I cannot seem to get anywhere on this freaking one. It, ah. Move this one. Then I move this one. And I go after the evil Emmett. I can't get through here. Uh oh. Ah! They escaped. Where did you take him now, Doc? Excuse me, sir. I'm looking for a tall, thin, older gentleman. He might have been with a tall, thin, younger gentleman. I know just who you're talking about. Hey, just left about a minute ago. If you hurry, you might catch that. That's the doc. Take, Take off, your, off helmet. your helmet. I prefer to leave it on. The inland air is Get difficult on my sinuses. Hmm. I know you're in there, Doc. Doc? Yes, I am a doctor of marine biology. Bullcrap! It's obvious what now. around, Doc? What have you done Stop! with him? Help! I'm being attacked! Harry! What are you doing? You can't assault the exhibitors. You don't understand. He's kidnapped Emmett. The boy is obviously uh, confusing. I'll say he is. The one I should toss him out on his ear. That won't be necessary. Do you know who that is? That's Jock Duteau of the Oceanic Institute. No, it's no, not. No, it's not. It's... Please keep it down. The expo went through a lot of trouble and expense to secure Professor Duteau. We can't afford to antagonize him. But if you've got a complaint against him, we can straighten it out after the show. It's not him! If you make another scene like that, I'm afraid I'm going to have you expelled from the hall. <laughs> It is annoying. Professor Duteau, huh? At your service. Hmm. What have you done with the real Professor Duteau? I'm not sure I like your insinuations. I'm not sure I like you kidnapping Emmett. Perhaps I should call the authorities and have you removed from the hall. You're a cold-blooded guy, Duteau. Say la vie. Where did you stash Emmett? In the diving bell? Where? It's called a bathosphere. The bathosphere. Emmett is in the bathosphere. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, so that's where he is. Okay. I think I'm going to take a closer look at that bathosphere. Not without a ticket, I'm afraid, sir. Hey! Is this guy trying to bum a free ride? No, I got a ticket. No. I got plenty of tickets. See that you don't. I got a ticket to right be here. On the right side of the law. <laughs> ah, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fine. I got a ticket. Exit. You're not gonna get away with this, you know. As they say in my country. Okay, sera, sera. Mm. That is not French. Here's ah. my ticket. I want to see inside that bathosphere. I don't think so. What do you mean? I've got a ticket. You have to honor my ticket. It's uh, uh, the, the, the wrong kind of ticket. Sorry. Oh, give me a break. <sighs> Next up on our roster, a man who saw the possibilities in Pond Scum. 
Welcome, Ernest Philpot! Thanks, Trixie. Uh, uh, technique. I I'm truly honored to be here today among all you. Can I slip this technique. way? Like the lady said, I labor in the field of porn scout. LG, ladies and gentlemen, is a mysterious and little known biological entity. I've got to get Emmett out of there before it's time for his demo. <sighs> How am I supposed to do that? Oh, I gotta report the diver, really? The secrets of this noble vegetable, and I am here to present my discoveries. They already fine, I guess. Quite a setup, huh? The expo? Sure. Yeah, I was wondering. Um, the aqua guy could get me into any exhibit on the floor, right? Sure, that's a pee ticket. Well, the guy at the aquarium is refusing to honor it. Hmm. There must be some mistake. Come on, let's straighten this out. Sounds like a dumbass. This young man claims you refuse to take his ticket. Not at all. I'm only too happy to take his ticket. He's removed him. And I will raise the bar. He moved to Emmett. My dear, what is the matter? The gears, they must have become stuck. I am afraid I cannot raise the atmosphere at this moment. What a shame. Yes, Jump in. It is, it is, it is. Well, I will work on the problem. Perhaps if you come back later. Thank you, Ernest. You'll be sure to drop by his booth and sample an algae cake. I have, and it was very interesting. I will be back later to highlight another of our fine exhibitors. See you soon. Step back! You're tripping the hose! What does it matter if there's nobody in the bathosphere? It's very bad form! <laughs> oh, sorry. It's an old nautical superstition. A crimp horse feeds. It will do! It does if there's somebody inside the bathosphere, but I thought you said there wasn't anybody there's in the no bathosphere. There's no one in there, so... And it doesn't matter if he dies, because not. he dies, then I'm just going to stay here. I'm not going to move. I command you untrim that hose! Funny. You'd think it was you who was running out of air, not the guy in the bathosphere. I... I don't know who, what you're talking about! I'm forcing the it's issue. as if you two were connected, somehow. Step off the holes! Raise the stand here? here, Doc. I walk to it! Then neither will I. If he dies, then, well, we have a massive paradox. And I win! Huh, yeah, convenient. There, see? It was just a malfunction after all. Let's get you out of there. Uh, Emmett Brown? Then it was true. Yep, and he's gone. He's gone. Hey, you. Hey, gone, he probably took, took the dang thing. Wallet. I think he took his wallet. Oh, remind me not to become an oceanographer. I guess I must have a touch of claustrophobia. Never should have gone in there. Well, we've all got problems. Now, you'd better get back to your booth Funny before thing is, I don't even remember going in there. Last thing I recall, I was in the glass house talking to Carl Sagan. Did you know he's really a scientist? I'd heard. What did he say to you? 
Oh, he had some sort of spur-of-the-moment business proposition. It was all very rush-rush, I never got the details. It would have meant leaving before the expo was no. over, so I told him that... Say, where did he go? You know, Carl Sagan? Don't know. He had to leave. One of his experiments blew up on him. No, I know how that is. <laughs> oh, yes, we will definitely do. What's this? Oh, yeah, Edna made Detective Parker shut down your booth. He says he can't go against her. Oh, yeah? Unless we dig up some dirt that'll discredit her in the eyes of the law. Oh, he might so know. So that's what we'll do. He might already know. He might already oh. know. Hello. Do you know what she made him do? Yeah, come here. What? what did that dialogue missing? Edna made Parker close your booth down. I know that. So he'll only open it up again if we could find a way to discredit her. Do you I know anything that would ruin her. Edna's standing in town? Yes, I do. She is a rotten kisser! Oh! That wasn't what I had in mind. Has she never told you anything? anything to you, did she? Like what? Something Must have been years later. Like, for instance, her being the speakeasy arsonist. Ed, not that the would speakeasy it. arsonist? Mm -hmm. Then again, that. why not? But she never said anything about it to you? No. What if she hypothetically did? I gotta <sighs> run. Did you talk some sense into those two? Oh, a Sisyphean task if ever there was one. Okay, hints. Keep pressing that exit button. Really, the hint three is always the one that gives you the most. Or not. Oh. Hello. The electro pacifier. Amazing, isn't it? They yeah. say one day we'll be able to stun fleeing criminals by shocking them at a distance. Huh. Does it work? Taser. Nah. It's just a model. Hmm. That would be nice if it did. Now can you please leave me alone? Greetings, forward thinkers of hill. Are you ready for a picture radio? Wonder if that's anything like MTV. It's sort of like TV. That's the only invention on here that actually comes out. The rest of them, not so much. What about a potato thingy? Don't know what I need to do. Wait, what's that? What was that? No, that's the picture right here. Algae cakes! Miracle food from the swamp land! Get your algae cakes! Biosphere control. I want to just go raise the bathysphere myself. I don't think so. What? Is this punk giving you trouble, Mr. Duto? There's an invisible guy talking! I may have broken the game! Whoa! Doc, you got some invisible crap going on with you! Well, I think that's all the time we have for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys on the flip side.